Hello everyone and welcome back. So we've just finished understanding the different phases that collectively form what we know as the business cycle and these were boom, recession, slump and recovery. All of these four will always be experienced by all economies in this sequence. Whenever an economy is experiencing a boom, there will be a period where it will go into recession, then a slump and a recovery. And of course, during all of this, the government has a very important role to play, making sure that this trajectory of the gross domestic product is on the up. So you can see that the line of best fit indicates that in the long term, the company's, the country, excuse me, is still progressing and the GDP is increasing still. Now, we have understood what each of these individually mean, all the four phases. And we know that whenever there is a crucial point and that crucial point comes whenever there is a bend in our curve. So this is where the government will be active in making sure that this recession doesn't last too long and the slump goes away quickly and we get into a recessionary period. So there'll be decisions that the government will be taking and those decisions come through their policies called fiscal and monetary policy. And in a couple of videos later, we will be discussing those policy in great detail. When those policy decisions are taken, of course, there are changes in the economy. There are things that you're allowed to do. And there are things that you're not allowed to do. So as a result, businesses have to respond. And they, they see some changes that take place all over the economy and that impact all businesses to some extent, some larger and some smaller. So let's look at how during each of these individual phases, the businesses are facing different challenges and what sort of decisions are they taking. So we will start our discussion in the same sequence. We're going to look at the situation of boom first. We'll go over to recession and the slump and the recovery. And this is where we'll try to see what sort of changes are taking place and how the businesses are getting ready to respond. Now, during a boom, remember this is where the things are good. Uh, you are expanding as a country, your GDP is on the rise, and that's going to spell good luck for the business because that means that there's more income in the, in, in the whole country, more people are happy to spend, there are more uh, employment opportunities, more businesses are opening, there are more choices available. So when there's more choices, more businesses opening up, of course, the demand for labor increases, right? And if you're a skilled worker, you'll be the first one to be picked up and hired. So skilled workers are able to maximize their, uh, their reward for the skills that they're providing to the business. And for that reason, you generally see that the wage levels during this time go up for skilled workers. So that's going to spell higher cost for the business during a boom. But you're also looking at the fact that since this is a period of boom, people have more incomes to spend. You're also able to increase the prices of your products. So whatever cost you're incurring by increasing the wages of the employees can be offset and maybe even given a more profit when you increase your prices on the other side. Of course, during a boom, you're expecting hopefully that this stays for a while because this is where you're making your profits. So you want to invest, you want to maximize, you want to open up new branches, new factories, learn new processes, uh, research for new products. So you see a lot of capital investment being made by businesses because this is where they want to maximize. And especially when you're coming out of a period of recovery and a slump and going into boom, of course, you've seen some hard times and now it's time to bring in the dough. And finally, once all this is happening, you can't be uh, oblivious to the fact that there is a recession coming at some point. So eventually you will have to start preparing that inflation will be on the up, unemployment will be high. So there will be problems coming up. So businesses have these changes happening around them and they have to make sure that they are able to manage their costs because going forward, once you leave the period of boom, you end into the bear area known as recession. Now, during a recession, of course, businesses are experiencing a decrease in the demand and overall the aggregate demand of the economy is decreasing. So you'll see businesses closing down and you, for, for that reason, a lot of workers losing their jobs, redundancies and layoffs taking place. It's not so good. Obviously, as a business, you cannot survive in a dying market. You, and as a, if you're a smart business, you would have diversified. If you haven't, this is a good time to start looking for new markets to see if you can make up the money from another aspect. 
Also, you may have some unsold stock. You can't just cut down on your production right away. It's not easy to get just fire people. You have a fear of trade unions taking action. Capital investment takes a while to be paid back. So you are stuck with your production levels, but the sales aren't taking place. So you're experiencing overproduction, more sales, less demand. And of course, there's only a few businesses who can survive that period. And a lot of businesses then start filing for bankruptcies. And of course, that's a sign of businesses failing. Of course, after a dark night, there comes the day. And the day is just breaking with a period called slump. This is where at least the, the economy's downward slope, the downward slide has been stopped. And you're just getting ready to go into a period of recovery. So this is where you're trying to still provide, people are still a lot, uh, really felt an increase in the income, the unemployment level is still quite high. So you're still trying to survive as a business by trying to offer more basic products. Things that people will still want, even if it's there's a period of recession. So the basics, the staple foods, the clothing, and all the basic stuff that people would require. So your focus then becomes necessities, not luxuries. Of course, this is also a uh, slump is also a period where a lot of businesses have seen a period of recession and they just have not been able to survive. So you still see closure of some businesses and some businesses who are trying to reduce their overhead costs but close down some of their factories to reduce the cost to still stay alive. Finally, just sadly, this is still a time where redundancies are on the high. Businesses are still not sure when is the recovery period going to come? So you're still trying to minimize your cost by downsizing your labor force. <coughs> and then finally, after a period of slump, there will be a period of recovery. This is where things are again turning, uh, taking a turn for the better. The GDP is rising again. And during a period of recovery, businesses see that uh, the consumers are again uh, rich they have more money to spend. So this is where in order to recover your uh, losses from a period of recession and slump, you're able to increase your prices and make up for the loss profits. Also, the confidence in the recovery will also bring in new startup businesses and that will also push the economy forward. Businesses will start utilizing. If they close down a factory, maybe shut down a machine. This is where the increase in demand will see an increase in the capacity utilization of their factories. And more recovery, more demand will also mean more investments for the business. Of course, if you're making capital investment, you have to keep in mind that if you're taking a loan, you also look at the interest rate. How is that operating? What are the other assets costing? So that all must be kept in mind once you are in the recovery period. So all four of these periods have very distinct features and businesses face very different uh, challenges and they take different measures during all of these.